Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sagittarians. And I want to say to you guys, thank you for your likes, shares and support. Um, welcome all newcomers. Welcome to uh, back all my um, subscribers who have been with me for a very long time. I want to say thank you to each and every person for this wonderful experience, um, the wonderful energies that are changing around us, and this is going to be extremely good. Whatever the situation is, it's going to be very, very positive for everyone that is here, and this is going to be a positive, positive situation that is going on. Um, you know, it's the last week of July 2017. And this week in July is going to be um, a change in regards with a lot of stuff because you have the energy vibration of the star and the month of July was the energy of the star this week is governed or the um, the Emperor and the Emperor is a wonderful energy because the Emperor do support you also um, it is a week of a fire so this is going to be good because you're vibrating in your sister sign of the Leo's which are having birthdays and they are going to help you as I look at your week you're going to have to be dealing with a lot of people you're dealing um, with the Aquarians the Gemini or the um, or the Aquarius, Gemini, or the Librans. You're dealing with the Taurus, the um, Taurus, the Virgo, and the Capricorns. You're dealing with the Aries people, the Devil. You're dealing with the Aquarians people, who's going to bring transformation, and you're dealing with um, the Air people, who are going to be. There's going to be a loss. And whatever it is you're going to walk away from it so it's going to be an art break and I don't have my deck to find out why who's this art break and what is happening here but I will still find out what is happening here um, whoever was trying to get away with something trying to steal something it's not going to work you're having balance and temperance um, what is happening is that um, money will be coming to you and your partner. Whatever is happening, um, money will be coming to you and your partner. And what is so strange? Because most of your um, most of your cards are major arcana. You have the devil. You have the a star. And what is happening here is that the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is here and you know this is something i want to say to you um sagittarians if you sagittarians are really having you know a luck that is it's not really luck but it's you know if you're having problems you need to change your energy vibration because sagittarians are one of the most luckiest people on this planet and I've been saying this and you guys are not aware of it but if you're working on a negative energy vibration which you're not telling the truth and you're kind of doing things to people and that sort of a thing then you're not going to see the best of it all because you're so lucky but yet still um, you tend once you start vibrating with negative thoughts because whatever we use send out to the universe that is what comes back to you then that is what you're bringing in and this is the first time I've ever seen because you have a reverse card here you have two reverse cards the devil and the devil energy is always helping you because actually it is helping you it's bringing you the nine of Pentacles so in this sense it is helping you but let us look at your energy on Monday you have whether an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra it can be a Libra or a Gemini person who is in the reverse form whoever this person is something happened the tower has blown up and it's it's really he's you know this person is really in the reverse form whatsoever has happened there is a serious problem um, whoever this person is 
as if something serious really happened there is going to be a transformation there is going to be a cleansing whatever happened this person has got themselves in some real hot water as we move on you have the king of pentacles which is the earth sign on tuesday this king of pentacles is bringing you money okay the spring of pentacles is really going to bring you money and going to deliver money to you so whoever you are think about it if you have a partner or you know this person is it a business partner or whatsoever but there is a message going to come from this king of pentacles to you and he's going to be bringing you money so whoever this person is for a lot of people it's going to be work situation um a home situation your private life or your work life for some people um this yeah this is this is really a boss this is really a boss being something this boss this is really a boss and he did something and his world is going to crumble crumble around him yeah this world is going to come around him and then this person this is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn it's going to pay you some money it's going to really give you some money it's going to pay you some money so you know whatever is happening um, be aware of it so the energy of the devil is here he's in reverse but yet still he's bringing you the nine of Pentacles which is wonderful so whatever is going on the devil is in reverse and the devil is helping you heal in your financial situation and again people whenever I say that there is going to be the energy vibration of money coming to you if you're not going to open up and work towards it or go towards it money just don't fall from trees you have to put in a lot of hard work you have to go if you need investments whatever you need to survive you have to work hard for it so some people will say yeah but every time you talk about money and I never receive the money you don't expect that it's going to fall out the sky okay so you have to work hard for it, whatever it's happening by working hard the devil is going to make sure that money comes to you and a lot of money okay it's gonna be a lot of money when the nine of Pentacles comes up know that it's gonna be a lot the energy of the star is here and the energy of the star is on Thursday Thursday is going to be a wonderful day for you Wednesday is going to be a wonderful day Wednesday and Thursday is going to be a wonderful day for you because the energy of the star is here and it comes with transformation so whatever your wishes and dream was is going to finally come out because there is going to be a transformation so if you have been in certain situation and you have been wishing and hoping for a very long time this is going to happen because you are going to see and receive positive energies that is going to about to come to you and this is going to be extremely positive on Friday whatsoever is happening on Friday um, there is going to be heartbreaks and uh, just walk away okay whatever the situation is just walk away whatever had happened just walk away whatever the situation is just walk away and realize that it's a lesson and you know it's it's gonna be hard for some people to get up and move away from certain things and that sort of a thing but it's uh, there was a lesson to be burned uh, to be learned and look back over everything and try and find out what was the lesson so whatever the heartbreak is walk away from it is good move on try and cope here we have the seven of ones in reverse whatever what was happening in your life have temperance whoever was trying to get um, away with something it's not going to have happen just have temperance because it's really really not going to happen have temperance have temperance with people who try to um, try to think they can get away with things have patient with them you know forgive them that is what the heartbreak is going to be you know because when you find out that people try to do you something it's it's not a very nice feeling that's what the heartbreak is going to be and Sunday the Knight of Pentacles is coming slowly to you but surely and the Knight of Pentacles is bringing you 
um, money so let's say that your you know your situation your family situation the financial situation wasn't so good you are going to get a message that money will be coming to you and it's you know sometimes it's like um, situation with taxes that wasn't paid out and that sort of a thing and you're going to really see that this um, is you know it's gonna bring you and um, in the middle of the week the nine of Pentacles comes up and sometimes they can realize oh my god these people didn't get this money or that sort of a thing and that would be on Wednesday and then on Sunday or Saturday you get a letter or something to say you know um, you you know we're gonna pay this out to you so that sort of an energy so you know look around it can also be that um, um, if you're looking for a relationship some people are going to meet someone between the ages of and for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 you're going to meet someone who is um, a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn this is going to be a good person whatever the heartbreak was and whatever you have found out and you realize that people didn't get away with that sort of a thing you're going to realize that whatever the heartbreak was someone is going to come in so if that was a situation where um, a relationship has ended you're going to realize that the universe is going to send quickly someone in and you know this is why I see here the star met the debt and transformation and when the star with the debt and transformation comes up it is a situation where there is going to be a, a, um, a, a quick ending to something and then this is going to um, but whatever the quick ending is is going to be good because your focus in this week was the three of Pentacles so it is always you know bringing light to something working on something you know working together with groups it can be with your family to get something positive um, you know to change certain aspects so look at this and understand what is going on okay so I'm, I'm, I'm actually loving this and why I'm loving this is because whoever this um, air, air sign person was a Gemini the Aquarius or the Libra whatever happened his life is going to blow up into pieces whatever is happening his life is going to blow up in pieces and obviously as as if the king of Pentacles for the people who are at work this situation is working out as the king of pentacles is together with this king of pentacles is together with this um king of sword and whoever these people are because it's going to be different type of people are going to affect different types of you whoever these two are one is the manager of the other one is the boss over the other and he's going to see the injustice that has played in a certain situation and he's going to make sure that whoever the king of sword is he's gonna get it he's gonna get it whoever the king of sword is he's gonna get it because the king of Pentacles is going to stand up against him and make sure that whatever is due to you is going to come to you so this is going to be extremely wonderful you know and I love when this sort of a thing works out for people because whatever that whatever that this king of sword was trying to get away with it didn't work whatever this king of sword was trying to get away with it didn't work it didn't work whatever he was planning it didn't work and this is wonderful I love when people you know is there's always a saying that um, we are planning and, and 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 God is wiping out so you know this is what is happening in the first half of the week as we look at the second half of the week the energy of the star and debt energy of the star and debt is always a transformation and 
this is saying to a lot of people for a message for a lot of people that I'm getting is that your spirit guides and angels are coming in they are helping you with this transformation they're helping to transform you to heal you to find yourself and understand and be so understanding and pulling together with other people and bringing certain things in your life which is extremely good so open up on Thursday because your angels and guides will be coming in it's a wonderful powerful week to do manifestation and it's going to be good if you're looking for a relationship for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 you are going to meet someone who is an uh, uh, Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn okay whatever you felt are broken about just walk away from it because obviously the king of sword was trying to get away with something and he's not going to get away with it because it didn't happen so walk away from it and say that this man was someone who you were connected with who you were learning um to connect with and whatever uh, he wasn't he wasn't being honest about certain things whatever happened his whole world is gonna crash and with that crash with his whole world crashing it's gonna teach him a lesson but yet still you don't walk away from it because you know like you know really it's it's better to walk away from it because something much better is going to come up and this is wonderful this is a really just so positive for you guys um the energy of love is very prominent on uh sunday the energy of love is so aware is is going to be here a lot of people are going to have like psychic psychic messages coming in um in uh, on thursday so be aware a lot of information will be coming in via your intuition and love is um a very focus and very promising whatever that was unjustly done to you um, it's going to be balanced okay let's see what the note from the universe has for you the note from the universe um, I like using the funny cards because it's the last week and the note from the universe is here why are all these cards upside and down when you look around you at those in the world who flourish, thrive, laugh, and love, those who live are filled with a friendship, adventure, and abundancy. Aren't they more than not first and foremost the dreamers? Yes, they are. Whoa, coincident, or did you just luck out? it's so funny I love these cards so wink 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 this is wonderful and you guys get the orange the color orange in this week and I need to go back and do the color scheme again because I think the color scheme was very positive it gives a positive flow so I'm gonna go back and do the color scheme but anyway you know this is going to be your message to the abundance and the uh, the abundance universe because that's the message the abundance universe is to send it out to you guys in this week so have a um have a wonderful time looking at that um go back and read it again and we're working with the e oracles jackpot oh my god congratulations you sagittarians and here I did it on the screen so I didn't preset your cards and I never always preset cards it's just that by shuffling on um, and through the time of the video we take up so much times but here you have you hit the job for you Sagittarians whatever you know and please people understand who you are you hit the jackpot. I have not um, gotten that card for no one and you Sagittarians have hit the jackpot and let's see do you see dollar signs they're circling all around you like a, a visual um, cyclone everything in your aura is pointing to material gains do you want to manifest a new house more love a better job a new life 
maybe a bigger jackpot book maybe gucci bingo might be wise to make some room isn't this wonderful so see you sagittarians you got the energy of jackpot you got the energy of the jackpot so let's read it jackpot again it says do you see dollar signs they're circling all around you like a vibrational circle um, cone everything in your aura is pointing to uh, material gains do you want to manifest a new house more love a better job a new life maybe a bigger pocketbook maybe Gucci bingo might be wise to make some room I found this to be so wonderful and so interesting for you Sagittarius I'm wishing you and I'm hoping for your wonderful beautiful week and I'm saying namaste until next week